Right, the last race on day two is from Cartmel. The Cavendish Cup, a three mile two handicap chase, Bronwyn Killing, Davy Robertson, Just Rosie, Craig Beckwith, Magical Times, Dave Hoody, Subcontract, Craig Beckwith, Brooks Sharon, uh, Darren French, Bobby King Grove, Stu Gray, Leo's Holiday, Alex Cherry, Cirque, Martin Leadham, Tomlin Vale, Graham Clatterback, and Tails, Stu Gray. Those are the ten horses here at Cartmel. Down in the south. And away they go. So it's Just Rosie, who's the early leader from Leo's Holiday as they come to jump the first, the open ditch. And Just Rosie leads from Leo's Holiday in second, the uh, Alex Cherry horse. Bronwyn Killing for Davy Robertson back in third. Then the two greys, as Brooks Schoen for Darren French, who's on the outside of the uh, second grey, Tarman Vale for Graham Clutterbuck. In between the two, the black colours is Bobby King Grove of Stu Grey. They're packing up here, there's no pace. On the outside is a subcontract for Craig Beckworth, and even wider still, Magical Times. At the back of the field we have Cirque for Martin Needham there. You can throw a blanket over them. There's only about three lanes first to last. No pace whatsoever. And Barbie can grove and Magical Times come to the front at a dawdle. Uh, in third is a subcontract as to jump the water. And behind that, Davy Robertson's horse, Bronwyn Killing. Then the two greys together, Tomlin Vale and Brooks Schoen. They come to jump the next year at Cartmel. And it's a subcontract to Leeds from Barbie can grove in second. Over the next, and there's a faller there. Bobby Can Grove is gone. Bobby Can Grove goes at the fourth as Subcontract takes him along from Just Rosie up the inside. Magical Times is wider, Brooks Show, and then comes a Tail in between. Also, another faller there, Just Rosie's fallen. So, two out already, eight left in the race, and a Subcontract deletes. And it's not going quickly yet from Magical Times in second. Tail just on that one's inside. Then Brooks Show for Darren French. The second of the greys on the inside is Tarman Vale in the red colours of Cirque. Behind that on the road is Leo's Holiday for Alex Cherry and detached at the back of the field, Bronwyn Kelly for David Robertson. And strangely he's been detached because they're going really slowly, yeah, as subcontract leads from Magical Times in second. Tail on that one's inside, then Brooks Sean. The second of the greys, Tomlin Vale's up the inside. The red colours between horses is Cirque. On the rail with the orange cap, you can just about see him as Leo's Holiday. And at the back of the field, detached from the rear, about four inches of drift, is Bronwyn Killing. And they're going slowly, so I'm not sure why Bronwyn Killing is so far back. Subcontract, the leader. Followed by the loose horse in second. Out wide is Magical Times. They jump the next. Magical Times are slow over that. Book shown quicker in the air. Uh, he's been joined by Cirque. He's up in third. On the rail is Leo's Holiday. Then Tomlin Vale. He's just on the inside of the Steve Gray horse tail. And at the back of the field, Bronwyn Killing for Davy Roberts. And only about five minutes first to last. A subcontract has got an easy lead in front. Leads from Tomlin Vale and Brookshire. The two greys together. Cirque moving up on the outside. The red colours, yellow cap for Martin Leadham. Still travelling wide. Magical times. Been wide the whole way. On that one's inside is Tail. Up on the rail is Leo's Holiday for Alex Cherry. And still at the back of the field, Bronwyn Killing for Davy Robertson. So they're preceded by the loose horse as subcontract goes he still leads, but he's now been joined by Cirque on his outside and Tom and Vale on his inside. Magical Times on their outside, they jump the water. Behind that is Tail. On that one's inside is Leo's Holiday. He wants to go quicker, it's put in hard. Just behind that is Bronwyn Killing, who's now passed a struck in Brooks Show and has dropped to the back of the field. A mistake at the back by Bronwyn Killing. So they're still not going quickly in front. And it's Cirque leads from Tomlin Vale in second. Subcontract has dropped back to third. Then comes Leo's Holiday up the inside who wants to go quicker, still pulling hard. Up on the outside is Tail. Then comes Magical Times. And they're followed by Brooks Schoen at the back of the field, with just ahead of him, Bronwyn Kellin. So still no pace on, but Tomlin Vale and Cirque lead. From on the outside, top contract still going okay. In between horses, Leo's Holiday has pulled hard for a lot of the race. Hopefully, that hasn't taken too much out of him. Behind that tail for Stu Gray. Then comes Magical Killing for Dave Hoody. And then followed by Bronwyn Killing, who's just ahead of the Gray horse at Brooks Shion at the back of the field. So Subcontra comes back into the front now from Leo's Holiday has pulled hard for a lot of the race. On the outside is Tail for Stu Gray. Then comes Cirque, who's on the outside of Magical Times. Tomlin Bell is on the inside the Grey Horse for Graham Clutterbuck. They're followed by Brooks Sean who's trying to improve now for Darren Prince. And still at the back of the field is Bronwyn Kelly. He's only about five lengths first to last year. 
with almost a mile left to go and subcontract the leader from tail. Magical time is now moving forward for Dave Hoodie. Leo's holiday has pulled half. Most of the journey is now being passed by Brooke Shio and also Bronwyn Killing is getting closer for Davey Robertson at the back of the field. Tomlin, Vale and Sirk who were the leaders not so long ago. But subcontract the leader now from tail in second. In third is Leo's holiday. They're followed by Dave Hoodie's horse Magical Times and his lilac colours with a black cap. On the outside of that the yellow colours with a white sea is a grey horse. That's Brooke Shio. On the rail, that second of the greys is Tomlin Vale. Out wide, Bronwyn Kelly and those turquoise and pink stripes of the yellow cap for Davy Robertson and Circus dropped to the back of the field for Martin Leadham. It's subcontract the leader from tail in second. Leo's holiday in between horses. Then comes Magical Times. They jump the water. Slow there was Bronwyn Kelly. Brooke Shion uh, joins him on his inside. Then comes Tomlin Vale with Leo's holiday behind that. Circus dropped to the back of the field and seems to be struggling. They jump an next. A mistake there by tail has left subcontract in front with Magical Times on his outside. Then Leo's Holiday on the in outside of Tarman and Vell. Tail trying to get back into it. Bronwyn and Kelly being pushed along now with Brooke Shion. Cirque at the back of the field trying to rally. It's subcontract in front from Magical Times. Bronwyn and Kelly has moved up into third. Leo's Holiday is fourth. A pushed along tail is behind that. Brooke Shion is trying to make it, just trying to rally. Moving close by sources. Tarman and Vell being pushed along behind her. So is Cirque. It's Magical Times who comes to the front for Dave Hoody now from subcontract and Bronwyn and Kelly. It's been a messy race. It hasn't been any pace but Magical Times has gone to the front for Dave Hoody from the long time leader subcontract in second then Bronwyn Kidding who seems to be going up and down they followed by Brooke Shion and Tom Lavelle they're making no impression and Magical Times has gone on yeah and with less than two furlongs to go, Bro Ma Magical Times clear from subcontract. Behind that is uh, Bronwyn Kelly. It's a long running in Cartmel, but Magical Times is well clear here from subcontract in second. They followed by Bronwyn Kelly and Brookshire, and they're making no impression. Magical Times is still going strongly in front. Subcontract is trying to rally in second, but Magical Times has got enough in the tank. going to win the last chip from day two for at Cartmel. The Cavendish Cup goes to Dave Hoody with Magical Times. Subcontract was second. It's tied for third between subcontract and Bronwyn Kelly and Leo's holiday back in fifth. It was a messy race, there was no pace. Magical times went wide the whole way, didn't make much difference. Wins comfortably in the end. From subcontracting in second, Brooke Bronwyn Kelly was third for Davy Robertson, Brooke Sharon was fourth for David French, and Tomlin Fair was back in fifth for Graham Clutterback.